Assalamu alaikum everyone. So I'm back with another video and in this video we are going to talk about preparation of ammonia and sulfuric acid. Ammonia and sulfuric acid. It's a very small chapter. All you need to know is about the preparation of ammonia and sulfuric acid. There are some uses of uh, ammonia and sulfuric acid as you must be aware of. Okay, ammonia is uh, prepared by a process known as Haber's process. Haber's or Haber's process. Haber's process. Mm. Haber process. We have already written this reaction like so many times that nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to form ammonia. Right? You need to remember the conditions. Okay, condition of this reaction is 40 degrees Celsius is the temperature, 200 atm is the pressure, and iron is used as a catalyst. Okay, now uh, one uh, one concept that uh, comes in both Haber process and contact process is the concept of compromised temperature. It's the concept of compromised compromised temperature. The thing is. That Haber process, this reaction particularly, is an exothermic reaction, which means that heat is being released. Heat will be in the products. Right now, if we increase the temperature, obviously we want to increase the temperature because we want reaction to be fast. But if you increase the temperature, heat on the product side increases, which makes the equilibrium go to the left hand side. So. The yield of ammonia or the output of ammonia is is disturbed. So, what did we do? We came up with a compromised temperature, a temperature which is neither so high, which is neither so high that no ammonia is produced, nor so low that the reaction is too slow. So, we come up with a compromised temperature, okay, in which both the rate as well as the yield, only a bit of it, can are compromised. Compromise means that we have compromised a bit of yield and a bit of rate for the sake of the overall reaction. Right? Now, you also need to know where does nitrogen come from? Nitrogen comes from fractional distillation of air. Fractional distillation of air. Right? And hydrogen comes from Cracking of hydrocarbons. Cracking of hydrocarbons. You're going to study it in, or in organic chemistry. Cracking of hydrocarbons. Okay. So this is what Haber process is all about. That's it. You need to understand some uses of ammonia. First use is ammonia is used in making fertilizers. That's the most important one. It is used in making fertilizers then it's also used in the manufacturing of sulfuric acid it's also used in the manufacturing of and making nitric acid I said sulfuric acid I think uh, it's not sulfuric acid it's nitric acid okay so this was Haber's process let's talk about contact process now Contact process. Contact process is a process that is used to prepare sulfuric acid. Okay. Okay. In step one of the contact process, sulfur burns in the presence of oxygen to form sulfur dioxide. Okay. In the second step, sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen to form sulfur trioxide. This is a reversible reaction. And conditions of this reaction, you should remember, temperature again is 450 degrees Celsius. Pressure is around 2 to 3 atm. And catalyst that is used is the vanadium oxide catalyst. Vanadium oxide catalyst. Okay. Uh, now, this, this reaction is also exothermic reaction. The concept of compromise temperature is hold true here as well. Because the 450 degrees Celsius is again is a compromised temperature. Why? Because 
the reaction is exothermic heat will be in the products if you increase the temperature too much equilibrium is going to go to the left hand side which decrease the amount of SOS reform so we have come up with the temperature that is neither so high that which is neither so high that uh, that the amount of the product that is formed is severely compromised nor it is too low uh, which disturbs the uh, rate of reaction too much okay uh, it's the same concept that we studied before in the third step this SO3 gets dissolved in concentrated H2SO4 remember we are making H2SO4 and to make H2SO4 we are using H2SO4 and we will have H2H2O7 H2H2O7 which is called oleum it is also known as fuming sulfuric acid then this oleum is dissolved in water then this oleum is dissolved in water to get the acid of desired strength okay now there can be a there can be another route for this reaction for example when SO3 was formed I can dissolve it in water to form H2SO4 this reaction works pretty fine but the point but the problem with this with this reaction is that the reaction is too violent too violent to control this reaction produces an uncontrollable fog of sulfuric acid uncontrollable fog of sulfuric acid which is obviously not desired so in so to prevent that we would dissolve the SO3 in H2SO4 first to form a product called oleum oleum is then dissolved in water to get uh, the acid of desired strength okay so that's how you prepare sulfuric acid now we're going to talk about the uses of sulfuric acid and of sulfur dioxide uses of sulfuric acid and uses of sulfur dioxide Sulfuric acid is used in making detergents. Detergents. It is used in making fertilizers. There are a lot of fertilizers which end in phosphates. Oh, sorry, sulfates. Uh, then it is also used as a battery acid. This one particular use, uh, you may already have seen it. How uh, acid is used in batteries, and then. Uh, there are uses of SO2. SO2 is used as a bleach in paper manufacturing. It is used to bleach paper pulp. It bleaches paper pulp. What does this mean? The paper pulp is basically brown because paper comes from trees, right? So uh, the paper that when we are manufacturing it, uh, when we are cooking the pulp of paper, which means when we are cooking the tree in uh, in essence. Uh, that is basically brown, which is the color of the tree. But the paper that we get at homes or in the markets are, is white. So how do we achieve that? We do that with the help of SO2. It bleaches the paper pulp. Bleach means it turns into it turns it into white. The another very important use of SO2 is that it is used as preservatives. It is used as a food preservative. Food preservative these two uses you must remember these are facial support and SO2 so that's all from this chapter now let's see if there are some past papers because there are not a lot of past papers mm, you know related to this chapter let me just check okay I found some uh, the diagram shows the flow chart for the manufacture of fertilizer Okay, gas W is being made from fractional distillation of air and gas X is being produced from cracking of hydrocarbons. So, uh, from air we get nitrogen, from uh, cracking of hydrocarbons we get hydrogen. So, uh, W will be nitrogen, nitrogen and X would be hydrogen. You don't, uh, you don't need to check any other 
column or any other in y and z you don't you don't even need to check it an ammonium salt was added to excess hot uh, sodium hydroxide ammonia gas was evolved when no more ammonia was evolved aluminum was added to the solution remaining and ammonia was given off what was the ammonium salt so the answer would be b okay hydrogen and nitrogen react to form ammonia which statement is correct ammonia is made in industry by contact process no ammonia is used in industry to make hydrogen and nitrogen no hydrogen for the forward reaction is obtained from cracking oil true okay uh, which aqueous reagent liberates ammonia from ammonium nitrate on warming this reaction is particularly studied in bases that when you react alkali when you react alkali with ammonium salts ammonia is released right that's what is asking you ammonium salt you are warming something with ammonium salt and ammonia is being released what would be that something that would be an alkali so potassium hydroxide is an alkali okay okay so which which uses for sulfuric acid are correct as a bleach no it is for sulfur dioxide as a food preservative no as a raw material in the manufactured detergents that is true and as a fertilizer that is true as well now we don't have the option 3 and 4 we don't have the option of 3 and 4 we have the option we don't even have the option of 4 only so the best answer would be 3 only which ion is not present in sulfuric acid sulfuric acid do not have hydroxide ions ok because that is in alkalis which substance is not a raw material used in manufacture of sulfuric acid air is used sulfur is used sulfur dioxide is used we don't need water what is the use of sulfuric acid it is used in the manufacture of fertilizers okay so which diagram shows the uses of sulfur dioxide which two of the numbered boxes are correct as a food preservative it is correct it's not correct uh, it's not correct this is correct one and three next question uh, what is used in step r from sulfur trioxide to sulfuric acid we use we use concentrated sulfuric acid followed by water we add concentrated sulfuric acid here and oleum is formed and then oleum is added in water so the answer would be a okay so that's all from this chapter i hope you got uh, the basic concepts right I'll be back with another video and in that video we are going to discuss redox reactions. Until then, Allah Hafiz.